despite the fact that three of his fellow supervisors published letters asking him to leave the Board of Supervisors, Jeremy Taylor announced at yesterday's meeting he was not going to do that. I plan to complete my term on the Board of Supervisors, um, but I will work hard to continue to complete my term, and then I'm going to focus on my family. However, Taylor did offer to resign from the office of vice chair of the board, and the board will consider that at its next meeting. Daniel Bittinger, Mark Nelson, and board chair Matthew Ung had asked Taylor to resign a day after Kim Taylor's conviction. Ung said he could not ignore the facts of the case. Government prosecutors said Taylor's wife was part of a scheme to stuff the ballot box for her husband in two elections. And it's hard to imagine... There being a separation between husband and wife, particularly since I think we all know that you do have a, have a healthy marriage. And it's hard to imagine a, a world where what actions and uh, steps were taken by one were not known by the other. During the citizen concerns part of the meeting, there were calls for Taylor to stay and calls for him to leave the board. And Woodbury County Auditor Pat Gill presented a previously unseen resolution to involve the state attorney general in Taylor's case. However, Ung said no action had been taken by the Woodbury County attorney or the state attorney general's office to remove Jeremy Taylor from the board. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Mary Hartnett.